Whatever becomes of the Gilets Jaunes, they've taken a nation by surprise and rocked its government. The Gilets Jaunes that you see in the streets, they're mainly middle class. And they're being bled dry financially. The wealth gap is getting wider, and we've reached a point where there are the very rich and the very poor, and more and more people are slipping into poverty. Sound familiar? Hmm. Marcus Conti reporting on the Gilets Jaunes in France. Francais. <laughs> Parlez-vous Francais? So you heard a couple of things in there. Wow. What does it sound familiar, right? What, they, what the guy was saying about it's the, the Gilets Jaunes is mostly middle class. Oh, I, I thought they were. I thought they were radicals. I thought they were. Uh, I thought they were uh, immigrants and and uh, hostile Abibs <laughs> jumping over fences to get us. Oh. It turns out it's the middle class of the of the country, the the French middle class. Oh shit! And they they're getting bled dry financially. Really? Where have we heard that before? Not here, certainly. Fucking come on, America. We're not experiencing any of that, are we? <laughs> Fucking stupid French. The wealth gap is getting wider. More people slipping into poverty. That's what the movement is about, right? Gilets jaunes, yellow vests. It's not a violent, you know, we have to nip it at the bud because the mainstream media now is going to see the momentum. As it builds, they're going to try to kill it. Right? They're going to try to paint it as an ugly, violent, counter, counterintuitive movement, breed, you know, deep in violence. But really what it is, it's just regular people finally waking up, finally waking up. I know it's hard. I know Americans, we're, 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 we got thick heads, man. We're all, we're all stuck in our own little holes, right? We got all our identity politics. Oh, no, 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 I'm, because I'm, 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 I'm this color, and I'm, oh, no, no, I'm that color, or I got this between my legs, and I got that between my legs, right? Well, I got to use this bathroom and that bathroom, right? Right. Or no, 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 no. I got the I, my. I know the answer. I voted for the answer, and the answer's coming. And and uh, oh no, no, we're going to reform the party. And it's, everybody's everybody's off in their own direction, right? And there's no solidarity, right? All right. But here, the French people, out of desperation, driven. It's a, it's they're driven out of from poverty's driving them into this place and i just i think it's important to to recognize that and honor that right because again as it as it moves to our shores starting this saturday the 15th right uh it's going to you know the mainstream media is going to come out you know come at us with with you know swords blazing in the air to kill it we don't need crumbs. We want the whole baguette. We need to eat. Merci, monsieur. They're not the only ones struggling. Now we're going into a terrible time of year because we can't afford Christmas presents for our kids. I'm 51 and it's like we're going back to the time when my dad gave us an orange and some cheese for Christmas. That's what we're back to. It's terrible. This shelter is base camp. Thomas and Virginie are in charge of logistics. Both work but say they're no longer able to make ends meet. They say they found a sense of community here. We wondered how many people would come here on the first day. Would there be any solidarity? Real solidarity between all the races, all the religions, the united France we've always wanted to see. And on the 17th of November, there were 1,700 of us. So we understood that, yes, solidarity still exists. People here say their purchasing power has nosedived and there's resentment over the president's abolition of a tax on the wealthy. In an area where people depend on their vehicles, the planned fuel tax rise was a step too far. 
That was the final straw. We were already drowning in taxes, and with that, we just wouldn't be able to cope anymore. Then the government agreed to freeze the tax, but that was just an attempt to shut us up. Simple people, simple, simple awakening based on, on lack of stuff, right? That's all they said. What, what were they talking about? They're talking about crumbs. You heard the girl say, we don't want crumbs. But here in America, we're, we're happy with crumbs. We'd rather fight amongst each other. And we'll take the crumbs. You know, hey, listen, you know, because no one wants to blame. Because you can't blame the banks because then you're, then you're, uh, you, you get a label. You're an S or, or you're an R or a D or a socialist or a Democrat or a Republican. No, no, no. You can't talk about the real problem of income and wealth inequality, the real, the, the, the source, or you get a label, right? right? But they're talking about crumbs at Christmas. They're going back to a time of, of famine, right? That's where we're going, right? That's where the West is heading back, right? And we see it. We see it happening all around us right here. But we, you know, decide to put our heads in, the, in, a, in our own little sand hole and, 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 and drink our hopium. And hope that it it's not so, right? It's me. It's my. I got to work harder. Right? That's that becomes the justification. Right? Real solidarity, right? She saw. She said also her purchase purchasing power plummeted. Ooh, right. Like you have money, but the money doesn't buy anything anymore. That sort of thing, right? That's what's going on, right? That's because you know you got a monopolies. You got these monopolies squeezing. You know regular people right? it started with a fuel tax but she said it's much more you know so see what else they say they get rid of the tax on the rich and then make us pay something's not right why did they get rid of the tax on the wealthy we're really struggling the people on 1000 1200 euros once we've paid the bills there's nothing left Thomas and Virginie have decided to protest in Paris they say violence has become a necessary evil. If it had just been us Gilets Jaunes at the protests, we'd have been tear gassed and gone in 20 minutes and everybody would have forgotten about us. It's hard to say this, really difficult to say, but the fact that there were vandals meant that we were noticed. It's really bad that it's come to that, but the reality is that it's because of them that people are talking about us. So let's talk about that. So the violence that the, the mainstream media is loving to focus on, the smoke bombs in the street and the burning vehicles and all, not a good thing. But you heard what she said, right? If it weren't for that, no one would have found us. Hmm. Right? Because no one's listening, right? Because the systems have broken down, the, the, the ability to be heard, the courts, right? the, the, the unions, the pseudo agencies, right? it's all breaking down now, right? It's lawless, really, for the people, right? And so, so in truth, the, put the people who pushed the envelope in this are heroic in a sense where they're they're they are heroic they're pushing they're pushing the limit just a little bit you know in every war there is some casualty now it doesn't have to go that way just simple numbers could in my view outweigh anything if millions and millions of people pour into the street so let's see what else let's uh, just a little more I came here for human contact. So many social links have been lost since small local bars, bakers and shops have shut down. They've all been replaced by big chains. Here you can come and end up being friends with someone you only met two hours ago. Here somebody wrote the Sixth Republic on one of these vests. They were right. That's what needs to happen. Something new. Something's going to change, but we don't know what it is. Mais on sait pas ce que c'est. C'est bien ça la magie de la chose. C'est qu'on sait pas ce que c'est. 
que de la vue. Mais c'est facile de dire. Oui, on a qu'on faim. Come on, eat if you're hungry. Tu as déjà mangé Non, 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 non. Allez, Maybe allez, there's allez, not enough for everyone. Mais c'est gentil, c'est... Ah, euh... ah, bah, faut bien We should think of those who are struggling. Is solidarity important? important? Yes, yes, very important. You won't tell your boss. They support us. Did they sign the petition? They're kind. There were three of them in the car and they signed. That warms my heart. Despite demands which critics say are unclear and often contradictory, the Gilets Jaunes are starting to imagine themselves as a political force. I didn't do higher education. The politicians, you see them on TV. I don't understand half of what they say. Maybe I'm stupid, but I just don't get them. I don't know whether they just do it to confuse us. So I'd like to see a Gilets Jaunes party that uses simple language that people understand. The separation of people from the parties, right, from the, from the power. You hear the woman say, like, I don't get them, right? Like, she looks at the TV set, like, she thinks she's stupid, but she's getting... You know, she's getting word salad. She's getting jargon, propaganda, nonsense that doesn't equate to her life. Hey, you turn the TV on, it's just, it's, you know, what's now we know as fake news, right? Fake, fake, a fake life that you're supposed to be fitting into or playing out. But it ain't playing out. Something's wrong, right? That's what's going on, right? What else? Like the police were in solidarity. See that? That's very important. Rather than, ha right? Rather than push the police and military, we need them to to join, join in. See, the French are doing it in the suburbs. Right? It's not over. It's only just getting started. Right? It's just getting started. Right? What else? Friends. They say you talk. You see them, like they like corporatization has taken away their little bars, their little mom and pops, right? You see that? That we don't, that we have McDonald's and, and fucking Walmart and Kmart and, and, and Walgreens and, and all these giant, you know, everything is a giant conglomerate where, the, where all, the, all, the, all the profits go and right out the top into some rich cocksucker's pocket. Right, there's no more there's no more small business right so you got to have you got to put it into into perspective that's what we're talking about here and here is a a genuine grassroots movement of the people by the people for the people without borders right right we do that here forget about it forget about it right and finally she says some, something has to change Although the other guy said it. He says, something has to change, but we don't know what it is. He talked about, and you don't have to. Right? You don't have to know what, you don't have to know exactly what it is, but you know it's wrong. And then when push comes to shove, they will, the oligarchy will come to the table and negotiate, right? And there's, there's, there's those among us that know how to handle that situation when it arises. Right? We know that, we know the demands are clear. We know what it is. Tax tax the wealthy, lose the income tax on regular people, and so on and so on. What else, man? Oh, a sixth republic. That's what he said. Sixth republic. Wow, that's sexy, right? That's real revolution, right? It's almost like a people's party. A uh, gilet jaune party, right? right? This shit is real, folks. This shit is getting real. Marcus Conti reporting.